hard to follow uh, Rhonda and the incredible leadership she's provided. My name is Jason Hall. I'm the CEO of Greater St. Louis, Inc., which is an alliance of the civic-minded business community in St. Louis that's laser-focused on winning this decade and propelling this metro into growth and expanding opportunity for all, no matter which zip code you come from in this great metro. Our work as GSL is made possible only because of our investors and led uh, by our founding chairman, the great Andy Taylor of Enterprise Holdings, who brought us together as one business organization with one voice, one agenda, and one direction, and that is to win this decade. Uh, we are very thankful for that extraordinary commitment to the region. Uh, I'm sitting here as well I, I, at this table when I'm, I'm just moved by the work of people that are leading global businesses and are great business leaders, but choose to take the time to be great civic leaders as well and to give back. And, and certainly Rodrigo Santos, the CEO of Bayer Crop Science who we're here with, I mean, fresh moving to St. Louis from Brazil, jumped right in in the role that he played in this flight. But I think of Ryan Davis, Brian Cave, Marilyn Bush, and so many of the other members that are stepping up, making this decade possible from the business community. You wrote letters of support. You organized your corporate travel leaders and some, like Centene, Emerson, Enterprise, Purina, the Herman Companies, Commerce Bank, and, uh, and Hunter Engineering, stepped up with an extra level of investment so that we could meet this moment. And I certainly want to recognize the late Michael Nydorf, who stepped up in a huge way on this opportunity. <laughs> Michael cared passionately about St. Louis being a more global, connected city and reaching its full potential, and he led by example, and it is truly an honor to work alongside him on, on one of these last civic acts, and he would be so proud to see us all celebrating today. The effort to bring Lufthansa in this flight here, though, to St. Louis demonstrates what we can truly get done when we speak with one voice and act with one purpose and put that parochialism aside. Greater St. Louis Inc., the, the partnership, the Port Authority, Lambert and the World Trade Center were all key players in negotiating this deal. Each brought a unique value-added role that was essential to aggregating the interests of many stakeholders to get to the win. It was a true public-private partnership and I certainly think uh, the leadership of Mayor Jones, County Executive Page, County Executive Elman, and others that stepped up to make sure that this deal happened. Folks, there is a clear formula that it takes for this region if we want to get big things done. We see it not only in the way in which we acted to attract Lufthansa to this market, but also the extraordinary win of this metro with the Build Back Better Regional Challenge, one of only 21 cities out of 529 proposals in this country announced by President Biden in recent weeks and with Secretary Gina Raimondo hailing St. Louis as a national model of inclusive development. That is a future we can get behind in St. Louis. We, we, we also saw it in the successful regional collaboration that brought the NASCAR Cup Series to our Metro East, bringing critical capital investment to the areas of East St. Louis and Madison, Illinois, and our Metro, living up to our purpose that we said we would do, which is fight for investment in every area of this Metro, particularly those that had been disinvested in decades past. We see it in the new jobs announcements, the developments that we're now as a region starting to announce every month. These are all great examples, folks, of how our Metro is working differently and how we're working more effectively with one voice. Learning that give and take, the push and pull of partnership that is very real, but at the end of the day, agreeing to advance forward in one common direction. That's an exciting place for this Metro to be. I'm proud to represent GSL in this winning partnership today uh, to receive this extraordinarily uh, generous award from the World Trade Center. I also, like Rhonda, am joined by the staff team of Greater St. Louis Inc. Uh, that is here and certainly want to thank them, particularly our Chief Strategy Officer, Sam Murphy, who was critical, critical, critical in negotiating uh, this deal, and we thank him for his leadership. When we walk out of this room, 
let's not forget the formula that got us to this stage and let's let it be the fuel that gets us to the next great win for this metro. I am seeing increasing confidence and trust, particularly that emerged from this Lufthansa deal that is helping fuel us to reimagine and create the confidence to rebuild Lambert International. And that is a project that is long overdue and with our amazing airport director and the work of this business community. Let's get there. Let's get that airport redone for the next generation. Now is the time. St. Louis is truly emerging as one of the most organized metros coming out of the forces of the pandemic. And we got a clear plan of what it's going to take to win this decade. So let's go do it. Thank you very much. Thank you.